Hey guys, well as you can tell um, by the title and what you're seeing on your screen right now, this video is going to be about, be about RuneScape opposed to World of Warcraft. Uh, mainly because that's what I'm playing right now. Uh, I've been playing it for probably two days now. Really starting to get back into it, really enjoying myself. So, let's get started. Uh, today's video is going to be mainly about... Um, just sort of covering where my character is at, where he's going, and you know what he has currently. You know, just sort of a let you know what I've got. Um, you see my bank got all broken down into tabs. Uh, tab one, which is the main, it has all my keys, all my just general crap that you know maybe I'll need again sometime. Maybe I won't. I just don't feel like getting rid of it right now. Um, probably need to clean that out some, but anyway, let's see, tab 2, have my runes, I uh, don't have a whole lot, I tend to sell my runes as I get them, because I'm not big into magic, but I am, I do like money, so tend to sell them as I get them, uh, and then I have all my rune making stuff, uh, my money, see I've got about 14 mil cash right now, and a level 3 clue scroll that I need to get completed, uh, tab 3, have all my equipment. Um, see, full Guthans, love it. Uh, dragon hatchet, whip, and then just a bunch of, you know, some archery stuff. My archery, not big into archery. Let's see, tab four has all my, like my tools for crafting and fishing and all that fun stuff. Tab five for summoning. Um, you see, I don't have many charms right now. It's because I just recently got through using up just over 2,000 charms, getting my summoning from, I think it was 44, and now it's 57. So, yeah, and man, it, I gotta tell you, it was expensive. That's the one thing I don't like about summoning, is how much the shards cost. I mean, I'm sure it's fairly universal, but it cost me about 750,000 gold to go up 12 levels and 12 mid-range levels, you know, it's not going from 80 to 92, any of that. Um, but, you know, I was able to sell all the pouches, which helped a lot, but still about 700,000 in gold. Let's see, tab 6, have all my consumables, you know, potions, food, etc. Tab 7, farming stuff, seeds, equipment, you know, not big into farming, as you can tell. See tab eight have all my clothes that I've gotten from random events and just other stuff that I've picked up along the way. Tab nine is just like herbs and ores and all the stuff I need for training skills. Alrighty, well let's speaking of skills, let's go and check out what I have in the way of skills. Oh, um, and also, equipment-wise, I have my Slayer Helm, Fighter Torso, Dragon Plate Legs, Dragon Boots, Ring of Slaying, uh, Combat Bracelet, Rune Defender, Amulet of Glory, and Cape of Legends. And then I'm using my Leaf Blade Sword right now because I'm about to go kill some uh, Turoths for Slayer. Uh, and then on to my skills. Uh, you can see, again, like I say, when I played this game before, I was about... 13, or well, I was 13 when I made it, and then, you know, most of my playtime was right there after I made it, and I was, I had zero patience back then, so I have no 99s, my highest skill is a defense at 88, but now that I'm really getting back into it, I think I will be able to get 99 before too long, so I, you know, have the patience now to just do one thing for hours at a time, which is really what you need to get a 99 in this game. Uh, but anyway, as you can see, mainly I've been working on my Slayer and Combat skills lately. Um, before I do anything else, I want 99 Slayer, 99 Defense, Strength, Attack, Hit Points, and Summoning. But mainly it's focused on Slayer, the rest is just going to come up because, yeah, obviously, um, you know, combat-wise, have to use those to get my Slayer up, and then Summoning. You know, I get so many charms as it is with Slayer. Might as well go ahead and use them and get my summoning up. Um, but as far as my other skills go, those all come first. And once I get, you know, 
so it's 6 up to 99. Then wood cutting is one I will get to 99, you know, after uh, dungeoneering. Those will probably be a couple of my, you know, ones I get done fairly soon after Slayer. Uh, and then the rest all in time. Uh, except for maybe Hunter and Ring Crafting. Those are two where, honestly, right now, I don't see those two ever getting to 99. It just takes way, way, way too damn long. And too annoying. It's just, no, probably not ever going to happen. Um, as far as Dungeoneering goes, uh, funny story here, sort of, I don't know. Uh, Got back on two days ago, started working on Slayer, you know, just picked up where I left off, and then as I'm looking through, you know, all the stuff they've added since, you know, I stopped playing, which was quite a lot, um, Dungeoneering was one, and I started looking and ran across the Chaotic Longsword, and that thing is insanely powerful. Between it and my Rune Defender, it has about, it would be hitting like a god sword. And so I was like, good god, I need this. You know, that would train help train my slayer and combat stuff up so much faster, and it would. So I went and decided I'm getting it to level 80. As you can see, it's level 30. And I have said, screw dungeoneering. Because on further examination of the Chaotic Longsword, I realized that it degrades, which I already knew it degraded, you know, so I like borrows. But what I realized is it costs 2 mil to repair it after 10 hours. Well, I started looking at how much I made in about 10 hours from my Slayer, and I made between 1 and 2 mil. So, I would be losing money, or at the very best case, breaking even. And that's not going to fly. I need, I'm wanting to gain a lot of money right now because I want, you know, full bandos, dragonfire shield. I need to get a bandos god sword about the time, or before I hit 90, 99 defense so I can start working on my strength. So yeah, um, chaotic longsword, it ain't going to happen. I mean, obviously, like I said, after I get 99 Slayer and all my combat and summoning all the 99, I will go back and work on Dungeoneering, because it, it, honestly, it was fun. I enjoyed it. Um, but it'll be after I get all that other stuff to 99, and so yeah. But So for right now, it'll stay at 30. I might get it up to 40, just so that once again, I'll have all my levels at 40 and above, which I don't know, I just sort of like it, but for now, I'm going back to Slayer. Uh, Quest-wise, not a big quester. You can see I have, I mean, I have 153 out of 308 quest points, so about half of them. But most of the questing I do is just if, oh well, I really want to go here, and oh look, I have to do this quest, you know, or oh look, this thing gives a crap load of experience and the skill that I hate training, you know, I'll do it, you know, that sort of thing. Not as much, just doom to doom. It, most of them seem like a heck of a lot of work for very little or no reward. Uh, achievements, these came out after I started playing, and then one time when I just got on for a few days. I uh, started a few of them, but I have yet to finish any, so yeah. Anyway, that's about all I have for now, I think. Uh, I'm going to go head to my house up in Remington. And go ahead to kill some Turok. Uh, as you can see, my house, uh, it's not a bad house. I mean, like I say, my uh, construction's only level 45. I don't know, I like it. It's sort of cabinish. Uh, I've got, I have an altar over in that corner over there. And, you know, so I can pray if necessary on my way to the Slayer Cave which has come in handy on several occasions. But anyway, guys, like I said, that's about all I have for now. I'm going to go kick some Turoth's ass and then hopefully get a better, <laughs> you know, better tasks next time. Oh, um, one more thing. As far as new videos go, um, probably do like a weekly update. I don't know. 
or maybe like every three days or something do an update video where I show you know, like I'm going to be working on Slayer mostly so I'll show like um, all my Slayer tasks you know what it was and then like at the end what drops I got from it and about how much I made off of it um, and then if I get you know a clue scroll show what I made off of the clue scroll and you know that sort of thing um, and you know any levels that you know if I level up show it you know just all just sort of update type stuff um, and then if I come across anything that just strikes me as hey I should make a video about that I'll make it um, but yeah that's about all I have for now uh, be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Let me know how I'm doing, if you like it, you know, any suggestions, anything you want a video made about. I'm open to do just about anything. Um, and even though I'm not playing World of Warcraft right now, if you have something in World of Warcraft you want a video about, hell, I'll make one. I don't care. I like making videos. I run out of stuff to do it about, so let me know. Um, but yeah, like I said, that's all. Rate, comment, subscribe, all that. And... Have a good day, guys.